Yeah, right, lads, this is the Geordie Jedi doing his reaction to Liverpool 2, Newcastle 1 game. Starting lineup for us, relatively decent considering Remy's injured. There's also a couple of other injuries, and also we don't have that good a squad, really. I'm relatively happy. Five at the back, essentially, with two wing backs, three holding midfielders, and Shola on his own, who didn't do that bad a job given the situation. Anyways, for the first 60 minutes, Liverpool were terrible. Actually, they were shite for the whole 90 minutes, however. Anyways, for the first 60 minutes, we played brilliantly, passing it around well. There were, there were a couple of Oleas, which is rare for our club. We don't hear that often. Eve, about maybe 20 minutes in, got a goal. Gufron, Haidara, passing it between each other down the left, got it to Gufron, ran. Passed it in. If Skirtle wasn't there, it would have gotten the shoulder. Probably less likely to go in, but it would have gotten the shoulder either way. Skirtle skims it, scuffs it, slices it right into the goal. Brilliant. We thought, so long as Man City were winning, or at least drawing, we might as well get the win. If Man City were losing, I'd rather Liverpool win so that they could win the league. But if Man City were winning, I'd rather we get the win. Anyways, then, for the next 40 minutes until the 60th minute, played brilliantly. Passing it around, got a couple. Gufron in particular got two brilliant chances. One stopped by a defender, one he should have put away. But we can't expect brilliance, there was only one chance. Then, 60th minute, Philo O'Dowd. Absolutely shocking game. Fucking referee. Ruined every single fucking thing about that game for us and also for Liverpool because they're not going to get the best reception from us due to Phil O'Dowd although our wives were generally intelligent enough to know that it was Phil O'Dowd's fault he does seem to have a thing against us Newcastle I don't know why he did get us that 4-4 draw against Arsenal but apart from that red cards anyways 60th minute, 61st minute actually I think Gives away, gives away a free kick. Anita clips him on the back of the heel. Not horrible, but I'd still say probably a foul. It did stop him. It wasn't a yellow card worthy of the challenge. It did stop him. Anyways, Gerard at the back corner puts it in. Aga header. Relatively decent. Shouldn't have been a penalty in my opinion, just simply because it was too easy. It was it was too little. Anyways, then, a couple of minutes later, again, this time, was not a fucking penalty. Nowhere fucking yeah was that a penalty. Coutinho leans in to the Newcastle player and just continues the lean, just continues and continues, and then falls flat on his ass, goes, hey, what the fuck was that, man? Anyways, O'Dowd gives the penalty. Obviously, Newcastle players are off it. We're not happy about this. Should not have been a penalty. Should not have been a free kick. Rather, anyways, we will get on with it again. Almost, a, almost identical. Into the far back post, Liverpool puts it in the net. End of it. Two one. Was screwed. Then, going up to the thing, Shola starts running his mouth off a bit. Now, by law, by the rules of the book, it is a yellow card, and then no, not another yellow card in my opinion. I don't think he actually said much. First yellow card was fair enough by the rules of the book, second, no. However, the rules should be changed. Players should be able to have a gun at the fucking ref for doing shit calls. I mean, the ref doesn't have to change his mind, but we should be, but we are allowed to run our mouths off, then why shouldn't the players who actually know exactly what happened? Anyways, game carries on. Again, we're not playing too bad considering we've got 10 men, but we're still not playing brilliantly. You know, we can't expect much. Anyways, then Suarez gets a run. Can't attack. There's three Liverpool players against two Newcastle players, although they take the time and more Newcastle players get back. Then, what happens? Suarez takes the ball, tries to do a turn, loses control of the ball. He's put it behind him, he's lost control. Dummett comes in, goes for the ball. Doesn't get the ball in fairness, however, Suarez hangs his back leg out and crack. Spins him around, however, for me, Suarez had lost control of the ball. 
And also, dumb it. It, it seemed more accidental than anything. It was not a fa it wasn't a proper foul. A free kick, yes. Red card, no. Anyways, as I've probably just explained, O'Dowd reaches right for his pocket. Red card, fuck off. Bullshit. Was that a fucking foul? Anyways, continue playing. Sterling gets himself in, has a shot, goes in eventually, however, he was completely offside. Replay showed it easily enough. End of the game. Right, at this moment I was really surprised that any Newcastle player even shook Phil O'Dowd's hand. I'd have told, I'd have specifically went to the assistant referee, shook the hands, going, oh, good game, good game, decent. As soon as Phil O'Dowd put his hand out, I'd should have just walked away. I wouldn't even say anything, I'd just walk away, and that would be the end of it. Anyways, apart from the referee, Newcastle actually had a decent game, especially considering we lost Remy, who is our main goal scorer. But a decent game, passed it around well enough. Defensively, we did fairly well as well. Everybody had a decent, nobody had really a bad game. Some people had quiet games, such as Teote, he wasn't mentioned much. He did do his job, but he wasn't mentioned much. Anyways, 2-1. Man City won the league anyways, which is a right piss take. They did not deserve it. They lost against Sunderland and then drew against them. They've put in some decent attacking options, but no, they did not deserve to win the league. Liverpool deserved it far more. Anyways, right. Because this is my first review video, and probably my only one for quite a while. Mike Ashley out. Get fucking rid of him. Knee good for this club. I've only followed the club since 2009. So I've known nought but Mike Ashley. So you can understand, for me to be royally pissed off at Mike Ashley, takes quite a bit. Pardew. <sighs> Best manager we could get at the moment. Shite manager best we could get. Also, quite frankly, if the if the puppy shits on the on the carpet, you don't blame the puppy for shit for dealing with that shit. Pardew's the puppy. Doesn't it doesn't deserve as much flack as he gets, but deserves still quite a bit of it. There's so many matches which we should have won and thanks to him we lost it. In this game he did keep his discipline. He actually pulled John Carver away from the assistant referee because Carver was gonna have a go at him. Anyways, leave a like if you want, subscribe if you want. This I won't be doing many sports um, reviews because mainly because the season ended and also because it's not as common. I will be continuing my gaming reviews, etc. Anyways, thanks for listening. This has been the Geordie Jedi. Cheers.